It's about everyone is spending more time online than we are actually used to. It's kind of the reality of 2020. And with that comes more opportunities, unfortunately, for scammers. Small businesses can be especially at risk, which is why I recently talked to Matt Erpelding. He's from the Boise Metro Chamber. And we found out what small businesses can do to help protect themselves. Matt, thank you so much for joining us. And tell us, why should businesses really be thinking about cybersecurity right now? Well, one reason businesses need to be thinking about cybersecurity is because it was a pervasive threat prior to COVID-19. But then when the pandemic started and businesses were forced to allow their employees to work from home, it increased it. Uh, it created additional vulnerabilities to businesses. But in addition to that, the FBI reported that in May, since the beginning of the pandemic, so this goes back to May, that uh, cybersecurity threats had increased by 900%. Whoa. In just a matter of a few months. And so, I, like many people, I think the chamber was caught flat footed by COVID-19 and kind of how to adapt to that. So one of the things that we want to encourage businesses to do is while we may have been caught flat footed by the pandemic, we can prepare and we can train our employees to avoid any type of a, a cyber threat. Okay, and share with us some of those best practices that businesses, sure. uh, small businesses in particular, should really be considering. Yeah, I mean, most small businesses don't have, you know, an IT person on staff that can regularly help them work through things. And their primary threat to their security is in their own staff. And so the Boise Chamber partnered with the Idaho National Laboratories and worked with the Boise State University Institute for Pervasive Cybersecurity to come up with really, really basic things that small businesses can do to protect themselves. And the three of them that are the most basic are train your people, make sure that folks are using adequate passwords, and whenever possible, use patches to update your operating systems on all of your devices. So we call it the three Ps. Okay, and those are just, uh, if you will, the tip of the iceberg when it comes to best practices in cybersecurity exactly. for businesses. So where can they go to learn more best practices to make sure that they're being as safe as possible? Sure, if they go to boisechamber.org, we have a um, small business guide to cybersecurity and cyber hygiene right on our homepage. It's a downloadable PDF that they can use. And then certainly from there, the appendix within that guidebook has many, many, many other resources for small businesses to utilize. Okay, and then as well, the Boise Metro Chamber, you offer other classes and educational opportunities. Tell us about that. Yeah, we've pivoted to essentially offering weekly programming that helps small businesses learn about issues around the valley. So this week we have our second cybersecurity uh, seminar, which is focused on national security issues, including our industrial infrastructure, our utility infrastructure, and for that matter, our elections. And we also have the governor's address to the Treasure Valley business community on the 28th at 4 p.m. So we have two I think really valuable events this week. Folks can tune in to our social channels, Facebook, LinkedIn, our blog pages to watch them live. Great. And Matt, where can people go so they can learn more about the Boise Metro Chamber and become a member and just all the amazing resources that you have to offer, especially for small businesses and local businesses in general? The easiest way is to go to boisechamber.org and um, then if you have additional questions, you can email me. My email is on the website or any of the team at the Boise Chamber is available to help small businesses.